Hi friends, it's Miss Brown from school and we are missing you this week and wanting to share with you some interesting books that we've come across and are reading them to you over YouTube because we, we miss your smiling faces and we hope that you miss us, so here we go. I'm gonna be reading Stand Tall by Molly Lou Mellon. It's written by Patti Lavelle and uh, illustrated by David Catro or Catro. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So she did. Picture of her coming down the banister. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandmother had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. So what do you think she did? She did. She believed in herself. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandmother and all of her friends. So sad. And start a new school. She's getting ready to get on the bus for her new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in the gym class. When, she, when the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt, felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies stacked them high on her teeth and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. Good for her. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, you sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish once again. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong, but Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. Pretty snowflake. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. 
Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Very sweet. The end. Thank you for reading with me today. I look forward to reading to you again in the future. Stay safe.